Hey kids, I loved seeing a bunch of you at prayer last Thursday night. You are warriors in God's kingdom. It was so beautiful to hear you praying to our Father. So, this week, a whole lot of you went back to school. Congratulations for getting through lockdown. Well done for sticking it out and for being so brave in getting back to school. Proud of you. Erica, myself, Sharice, Laura, we meet every week on Zoom and we pray for each of you. We love you and we miss you. So, we had one birthday this week only. A very happy birthday to our awesome, extremely special, Nina Yabe. Okay, kids, we are now in our final week of the Suit Up series. Now, I'm sure most of you could probably say what the armor of God is in your sleep. I am, I am certain that you also know the verse. But let's quickly read through what the Bible tells us about the armor of God. It's from Ephesians 6, from verse 10. It says, Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God so that you'll be able to stand firm against the devil's schemes. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but we are fighting against evil rulers and authorities in the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. This is the important part, guys. Are you listening? Therefore, put on every piece of God's armor so that you will be able to resist the devil. Then after the battle, you'll be able to stand firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, the shoes that come with a piece of the gospel. In addition, hold up the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit. Pray at all times and on every occasion. So that was taken from God's word, and that is what God is instructing us to do. Did you know the devil will do anything to make you turn your back against God? But God has given us the full armor that we can suit up every day to say no to the devil. Okay, kids, I've got two challenges for you today. Are you ready? Let's warm up. Challenge number one. I want you to push pause and go and fetch a crayon or a pen or a pencil and a piece of paper. Okay, go. Okay, welcome back. So now that you've got your pen, you've got your paper, I'm going to give you a 60 second countdown. It sounds a bit like Dit, dit, dit. You've got one minute to, on your piece of paper, draw or write the full armor of God. So, have a quick look, and the countdown begins now. I hope you got them all. You can check over here. We've got a shield. We've got a helmet. We've got a belt. We've got shoes. We've got a breastplate. And we got the very cool sword that Bailey defeated David with last week, if you remember. Okay, challenge number one is done. Whew. Hope you made it. 
Challenge number two. I want you to push pause again and go and ask your mom or your dad very, very politely, like, mom, please can I? Or dad, may I please? You're gonna ask them for their cell phone and you're gonna come back to me. Go. Okay, welcome back. I hope you have a phone in your hand. Now, challenge number two. Woo, this is tricky. I want you, one of you, to video the rest of your brothers or sisters. And if there's only one of you at home, maybe your mom or dad can video you. See if you, if you in 60 seconds, can do the verse with the actions. Hey guys, we've done this now for six weeks in a row, so I know you can do it. Okay, the 60 second time is coming. It starts like, finally. Okay, are you ready? And go. Welcome back. Now, please send me a WhatsApp of your video. Do it after church, push pause and do it now, it doesn't matter. I'm probably gonna be Tani Kate on your mom's phone or Auntie Kate or Kate Church or Katie, most awesome Kate ever. I've also been known to be like amazing, great one. You could look on your mom's phone. If you can't find my name and you don't know how to WhatsApp the video, ask your mom and dad at the end of church. Okay, so that is the summing up the whole end of our Suit Up series, which has been so awesome. Can you please do me a favor, kids? In the morning, ooh, you wake up, you put on your school shoes and your pants and your shirt and an irritating tie. Can you remember to also put on your spiritual clothes? Because during the day, the devil might come and go, you're not loved. You're gonna be bad at school today. Your friends don't like you. And that's when you resist him. And you say no, because you've got your full armor on that says you are loved, you're a child of God, you called with a purpose. I know you can do this, guys. Even at night, maybe some of you struggle with nightmares. Put on your full armor of God at night. Speak it over yourself. And we say no to Satan and yes to Jesus. All right, guys, that's the end of that. The next series coming up is called Stories of the Kingdom. It's all about stories that Jesus told. A big word for it is parables. And that is gonna be an amazing series of learning about what is the kingdom of God. So tune in, it's gonna be about a six week series and we are really looking forward to sharing it with you. Watch this little video to get you excited. Jump up to your feet, it's time to worship Jesus. It's the last week of the Full Armor of God song. You guys can probably sing it in the shower by now. Enjoy singing it, enjoy worshiping your King, and we will see you next week for the Stories of the Kingdom. Bye.